Hello everybody! Time for a new tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, uh, I did this one on the uh, quick draw types and the outliner. Uh, I was doing this, uh, showing you the animation I did at work of the little um, computer virus jumping out of a computer and sucking in your confidential information. And uh, a Hauska fan was asking how I made this effect happen where the confidential information badge comes out of the computer and then seems to get kind of swallowed up into a vortex like this. Okay? So I was planning on doing this uh, as my next tutorial anyway, so it's perfect. So let me show you how this works. We'll create a new scene and we will, in the 3D view, we'll hit Shift A. Under Mesh, we'll add the monkey as our test subject. We'll turn on smooth shading. Let's pull this over a little bit and go to Modifiers tab, add a subdivision surface so she's nice and smoothed out. Uh, there's our monkey, Suzanne, that's her name, officially. So uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and create the thing that uh, will deform this monkey. Uh, you will notice as I do these tutorials when I use the monkey as my test subject, I, I say the word monkey as much as possible because I just think it's a funny word, so get used to it. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and add another modifier, and that is the lattice modifier. So if I were to add, for example, a cube, under mesh cube, you'll see when I go to the drop down list, it's not available because lattice is its own special object type. So if I go to shift A, underneath armature, there's a lattice. So I'm going to scale this up so it's just about covering her size. And uh, lattice, as you can see here, when you select her, uh, the monkey Suzanne, uh, she has a data block type or panel where it could create shape keys, for example. Uh, you can't do that with the last. The last has its own separate panel. And the way you subdivide it is not by editing it like a normal mesh. You go here under lattice and you increase the U, the V, and the W. And then you can play with these types. Uh, I haven't seen any reason to select anything other than the B spline at this, at this moment. Uh, you can go in and, and and create a uh, tab in edit mode, and you can't edit the lattice, which I'm going to show you in a minute why you would do that. Um, and you could, for example, create, uh, I guess, a vertex group, so you can limit the influence to just that vertex group. But uh, we have our lattice here at this point, and we have not modified other than just creating uh, more subdivisions. So if I take Suzanne, and I go ahead under her uh, modifiers tab, and I select the lattice, as the object to deform, and I drag her through the volume of the lattice, nothing happens because we haven't changed the lattice in any way. So if I were to uh, select the lattice and tab into edit mode and select some points in the middle and scale them up and go back to object mode and select her and then drag her through the volume, now you can see that she is in fact uh, warping. And what I did with the previous animation was I just had the one end of the lattice scaled way, way down. Way, way down. Oops. So when I dragged the uh, item through there, it kind of squashed into it. Okay? All right. Uh, so, and also you can animate this lattice using the standard. Uh, tools. Let me go ahead and uh, put that back to about where it was before. Uh, the standard uh, transform animation tools in Blender. So for example, let's say you put Suzanne in the middle here and then you go ahead and uh, hit uh, select the last and hit I to bring up the keyframe menu and I would select uh, lock rot scale which stands for location rotation scale. I set my uh, first keyframe move to frame 30 and we'll scale it down and then we'll move to frame 60. Oops, forgot to set a keyframe. Scale it down. I and lock rod scale and then go to frame 60 and scale it back up. I lock rod scale. Okay, so now we can see we have an animation that looks kind of like a, you could, for example, do a, maybe like a beating heart or something this way. Anything rhythmic or whatever. So you can animate this this way, but we don't have a lot of control over this at this point. We can just kind of like scale it 
and transform it and stuff like that. But that's um, maybe not as much control as we would like to have. So let's get rid of this lattice by uh, hitting X to del delete it. Move Suzanne over here. And let's give her a new lattice. Shift A, lattice, scale it up. Uh, go to lattice tab, give it some subdivisions. Okay. And now we'll move her inside of the lattice here. And again, because we haven't modified it yet, it doesn't do anything yet to her. Uh, so the lattice also does not have certain animation capabilities that the uh, rest of the um, mesh objects do. She, uh, the lattice also does not have this um, data block tab, so we can't create shape keys or certain things for it. But it does have a uh, modifier tab, add a modifier tab. So we could, for example, animate this uh, by modifying it using some of the standard modifiers. For example, one that would be good for us to use would be either an armature, like bones or something, or in this case, a curve. So let's go and create a curve, or add a curve modifier, I'm sorry. And of course, we don't have a curve in the scene yet, as you can see. So let's go ahead and, and uh, shift A and add a curve, a Bezier curve. Okay, scale it up a little bit. Okay, so now if we go ahead and select our lattice and then we go ahead and select the curve, you're gonna see everything freak out here in just a second. Oops, did I add, I forgot under Suzanne, I have to go ahead and add the lattice object to her. Now we'll select the lattice object itself and select the curve to modify it and watch everything freak out. There we go, everything freaked out. And the reason for that is that I'm going to move her out just so you can see what's going on here. The curve when it comes in is not straight, so let's tab into edit mode and grab this control point and drag it over until the last is pretty much straight. Okay? And then I'm going to move this last on top of this so it's pretty much centered in there. And now uh, we have a curve. Um, let's go ahead and uh, tab into edit mode. And so you can see here, if we select one of the control points of this curve, of this curve, we can start to and uh, manipulate the lattice with this. Okay. Okay. But uh, we don't have, we still don't have that much control. So let's go ahead and select, uh, hit A twice to select everything, and hit W to subdivide. Now at least we have. A control point in the middle here so we can start uh, manipulating the lattice here as well but the problem with this is the curve is also a special type that doesn't have certain animation capabilities so we need to go ahead and if we want full control over this we want to associate this curve uh, points with objects in the standard standard blender objects so if we select one of the uh, control points here on the end and we go down to curve and we go to control points, under hooks, we can create a hook to an actual object in the Blender scene. If we had an object sele selected or a bone selected, we could hook it to that, but we don't. So let's create a new object, hook to new object. And you see it creates a new object. So let's select this uh, control point in the middle. And now instead we'll use the um, keyboard shortcut, control H, hook to new object, select the last one, control H, hook to new object and tab out of edit mode, and now we have objects in the Blender scene that we can use to manipulate the curve. And we can go ahead and animate these to our heart's content. And uh, when we drag Suzanne, unlucky Suzanne, through this, let's go ahead and turn on uh, the uh, auto keyframe recording. And I'm gonna hit uh, A twice to select everything, and hit I, oops and hit lock rot scale again to keyframe everything that would normally transform. And then we'll go to frame 60 here, for example, move her through, okay. And then we'll just kind of move this guy up and this guy down, this guy up. And we create an, odd, an animation that's completely uh, meaningless, but as you can see here, if we just go and put her in the middle here, and start manipulating things, you can see what kind of things we can, what manipulations we can do with this setup here, okay? So, um, this is a quick look at the lattice type of deformation, and all the things you can see here, you can kind of twist around and stuff, you can, there's just infinite possibilities with using this, um, this manipulation uh, of, of objects in the Blender scene. 
So, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you got something out of it. Uh, goodbye.